Hello everyone. This is May 13th. Tomorrow, May 14th, hard stop for all coursework at 11.59 p.m. And it's done. It's a great relief for some of you who have been working so hard since January to know that the end is here and you should be very proud of the work you have produced. I am still grading. I'm still reading journals and discussion boards and of course the final exams for the students who are doing written final exams and I am excited to still see your work coming in but tomorrow night it is done and then I will work vigilantly diligently I will be like right on it for the weekend just reading 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 and assessing and evaluating your work I take your totality of your work I look at your videos, I look at the Zoom um, classes we've had, I look at the discussion boards, I look at the journals, and I know on the journals and discussion boards most people are getting 80s, 90s, or 100s, but I want to look at the consistency of that, I look and see what's in late. So I have every grade imaginable that will come out of our classes from A's, the A minuses, B plus, B's, and it's all based on this. And this is where a person comes in and evaluate me, the teacher, not just letting a computer do it because there's a lot of different reasons that students don't all keep up. And I know many of you have had incredibly unimaginable things happen this semester and yet you chose to stay in the class, which is to your credit, but you understand that it all, it all factors in. You know, this is a class, it's not directed study, so I do take the totality of the group very seriously. And I try to be as fair as possible to everyone. But May 17th, for sure, my grades, like all the other teachers or professors, are supposed to have the grades in. That's our deadline. And I, I'm a rule follower, so I will follow that deadline. And maybe sooner. How you get your grade, I know some students will write to me and say, where are my grades? I see my grades when I take classes in the Access BCC on the side. It'll say your grades, and I can see them there. When they actually go from the faculty members sending them in into records and then to you, I don't know what that delay is. I don't know. But it doesn't do any of us any good to be too anxious about it because it will take time. And I think they're hand put in. I think someone physically sees the grade and then logs it in manually. So that will also take a little more time. I hope you have had a good end of the semester. I hope that you are reflecting on all the classes you took the semester and give yourself credit for hanging in there. Everyone's had a different experience. Everyone's come into these classes with a different expectation, a different work ethic, a, and, and then the factors around you that you could not control, from family to your own sickness, uh, COVID-19 to work issues, car accidents. There's been a lot of heartache and unexpected obstacles that many of you have kept going on, and I really admire that. I am in my, I'm like looking at the light, which isn't so good right here. Uh, I'm in my office right now. There's the uh, graduation gown. I'm, they're letting us in little by little, a little bit. I will not be fully into classes until, I won't be face to face until uh, spring of 2022. So I'm not coming in in the fall. I'll still be Zooming it. And that makes me um, aware that when you're doing your, uh, your selection of classes for the summer or, or the fall, really see what the expectation is. Are they Zoom? If they're Zoom, that's just like having a class. There'll be a time and a day that's important to honor. It is class, right? A Zoom class. Is it asynchronous, meaning that you're totally on, online with there's no definite connection with you and the faculty member? You're all within a group and you're all being given the information from a faculty member and evaluated by a faculty member, but you were still group oriented with your discussion boards and not in a, a class that you see each other on a regular basis. There will be many hybrid classes coming out. I know that the lab sciences have been doing face-to-face -face this entire time. I don't think they've ever really stopped. I think they stopped for a short time between March 2020 and June 2020, and then they went into a face-to-face. -face. So I can see when I'm on campus now that they're giving vaccines to students who are coming in um, to take the hybrid. I don't know, they're testing students. Uh, vaccines have been widely distributed for your age group, though, throughout the Commonwealth, and it's not hard any longer to get a vaccine if you choose to. 
This is your decision and I'm a vaccinated person and I believe in vaccines, but I've been getting vaccines since I was a child. So I'm just trusting the science. And I do, I still wear my mask uh, always, right? I'm on campus now, I'm always with a mask. If I go into a public setting, I wear double masks. And so I'm very conscious of the fact that people have lost their lives. And the you frontline workers that I'm speaking to right now, many of you have had jobs where you had no choice. You had to go in. So hopefully everyone is taking this pandemic seriously, still seriously throughout the summer months, even though it is, it is um, showing signs of normalcy. But I'm hoping for a new normalcy because I wasn't so crazy about the old normalcy. I have a lot of issues with what, what, you, what we left behind. There's a lot of good that's happened. Um, not speaking about all the deaths, so that hasn't been good. All right, so it's almost done. It's almost done, and you should feel proud. I'm grateful for you for being in these classes with me. I'm grateful for all the students who read the syllabus, who read the calendar, who knew the due dates, who listened to these videos and emails I sent so you knew what was going on. I can always tell if a student hasn't been by the emails I get back with questions. See, that's the difference between an online class and face-to-face. -face. In face-to-face, -face, of course, you could just ask me as we walked out of the classroom together or we walked outside or we were in the corner and it was a lot easier. Now you have to ask the question. But what the first thing you should do for all your classes is to see, did the teacher already address that question? Is it in the syllabus? Is it in one of their latest posts on email or in a video? Is the information already there? Because I find that with anxiety, going up pretty high in the last year and a half or so, students will automatically just ask the question without realizing that they had all the information all along. So I, I, I was a student, I took two classes this last semester, I had to do the same thing and sometimes I didn't feel like going back to look for the answer, but I said, wait a minute, did the teacher say this? Is it in the syllabus? Did, did they mention on their video? So anyway, I, I, I know I over talk. But you can tell that I really like to be with my students. Hopefully we see each other at some point. But this is Joyce Fernandes. It's May 13th. Tomorrow is the last day. So for all those students who have been done for quite a while now, just waiting for the others to catch up, oh, everyone still has time. But once it ends, it ends. And it doesn't get opened again. And I do not give incompletes. We've had time. We've had time. Maybe some of you know that you need to have a mentor to get you through these classes because one teacher cannot do what some of you need to have done. It doesn't work that way. It can't. I have 143 students this semester, and it would be impossible for me to be answering all the emails with the same intensity as some students would like to. Some students put urgent when they send me something, and it's like, that doesn't do any good. You go into a thread, and I will get to you when I can, because again, we're all very busy, and we all have, um, we all have things we really have to get done, and I have to honor my courses. I have to grade my discussion boards and my journals and the final exams and look at the, you know, I've got things to do. That's very important for the efficacy of the courses. Okay, this is it. I'm looking out at Bristol Community College now in Fall River. You can look out too. There it is, beautiful day. And hopefully we're all back together sooner than later. I hope you have a wonderful summer. I really do.